What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week, you don't wanna miss them. In this video today, I'm going to talk about what was more challenging. Being in the military, you know, going to Iraq, going through boot camp, surviving all of that, and then being in medical school or as a resident, being a doctor. So what was more challenging? So. For those who don't know, I did eight years in the military. I went to Iraq in 2005. I signed up when I was 17 years old, actually before I even had graduated high school because my school was on a quarter system. So by the time I was a senior, halfway through my senior year, I had completed all of my, my high school credits to graduate. So my school actually let me go to boot camp and sign up for the military. And that's what I did while my rest of my classmates were still in class, taking classes. I was in boot camp here in San Antonio, Texas uh, for the Air Force. So I, you know, I, I went to boot camp and then after boot camp, I went back to walk with my high school classmates uh, in my service uh, uniform, military uniform. So I thought that was a really good experience, but you know, eight years in the military, uh, you know, boot camp was, boot camp is challenging but uh not something that you can't get through and then i went to iraq in 2005 and i was right outside of baghdad iraq uh, i was a medic there i took care of wounded soldiers uh, wounded civilians and also uh, enemy prisoners of war so this was a dangerous time because it was the actually the most attacked base in iraq at that time it was said that we survived over a hundred attacks and what the enemy used to do or the bad guys, they would throw what's called mortars or rocket propelled, propelled grenades at our camp. And there was actually one day when I was taking care of a soldier who had got shot and we worked out of these tent hospitals and at the back of the tents where I was located and I heard a big go over my head and hit the ground. Um, Coming to find out that sound was actually a missile that went right over our head and hit the ground maybe 10 feet from where I was standing. But luckily the missile didn't detonate because if it did, I wouldn't be here today. But being in that type of environment was stressful because we were getting shot at every day. And on the other hand, we had to take care of patients and remain calm. I was a staff sergeant, so I had troops that were under me. Uh, so it was a, a pretty dangerous and stressful time. Um, and then leaving that type of environment and then going to medical school. And after getting rejected from medical school, my first two years of applying, I got in my third year after doing a post back program and then went to G Georgetown Medical School. Um, our professors, even in medical school, they used to compare it to drinking from a a fire hydrant. Like you can't drink from a fire hydrant. It's almost impossible to do that. All the water that comes out. That's like what it is to be in medical school because they're throwing this information at you. Bam, 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 bam. Then they give you a test. Bam, 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 bam. They give you a test. It's never stopping. So like which one of those was, you know, most challenging for me being in that type of environment in the military where uh, during my eight years in the military, I also went to college full time. So I worked in the ICU at the hospital and that was my job. I was a medic and a LVN, licensed vocational nurse. So when I used to work the night shift in the ICU from 7 p.m. to like 7 a.m., I used to go to school from 8 a.m. to 12 or 1 p.m. and then get up or sleep for you know a few hours and then get up at six and then go back to work again. So, and I did that for, man, it had to be four or five years. So, and then when I worked the day shift, I used to go to school at nighttime. So I would get off work maybe five o'clock and then I would go to class from six to like 10. So, and I did that for a number of years and it took me seven years to get my, you know, my undergraduate degree. And that was a lot of lack of sleep, as well as uh, challenging times, trying to balance working full time in the military with military obligations and duties, and at the same time, do well in pre-medical courses. So, um, 
which one was more challenging? Well, I would say that medical school by far uh, was the most challenging, but you know, my time in the military, going to school full time, um, as well as working full time and then going to Iraq, that was challenging as well. But nothing can compare to medical school. It's, it's one of those things that is almost un undescribable of how challenging it is to anyone just because of how much they expect out of you. Um, it's very fast paced. It's, it's uh, you have people in your class that are very, very brilliant because they take, you know, get to get, in order to get into medical school, you have to be at some level of academically, you know, superior to everyone else and your scores have to be really high. So, and then you put these 200, group of 200 people in a room who are at the top of their classes, have the best grades, always have been overachievers. You put them in the room together and you're trying to compete with them. So that makes it really challenging to, you know, stand out in a medical school. So, um, so I would say by far, you know, medical school more challenging than, you know, my military time. But what I learned in the military and took away from it was the discipline. And that set me up for success in medical school. You know, we got up at every morning at 3.50 or four o'clock and we ran, worked out, and then we went to class or we went to straight to work um, in the military before most people would even get up for the day. So um, that structure and that discipline really set me up for success in medical school and also being in Iraq, getting shot at and trying to work under pressure and and taking care of patients in a very hostile environment, that set me up for success as a surgeon because as a surgeon, you have to be able to react under pressure and be very resilient, especially when things are going wrong. So uh, for those of you who are thinking about going into the military, um, or thinking about going to medical school. They're both challenging. It can be done as possible. If I can do it, uh, you guys can also. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come in every week. We'll see you next time.